it's so hot in here today but I can't open my window because my neighbor's children are outside and playing and they are very loud so, so I had to close my window but I'm very hot and sweaty right now and my hair looks like a mess but hi guys I finally finished preparing for this video and for a couple of months ago I bought a bunch of eyeshadow primers to be specific, specific, 23 different eyeshadow primers that I've been trying out so much just to be able to give you my full thoughts, what worked for me, what didn't work for me. And I was surprised and you will see that. Um, I have all of them here and I wrote down everything so I can tell you what I like and what I don't like and what works and what doesn't work on me. Now I have to say that I have a very oily T-zone and dry patches around here, so it's a combo. But my eyelids are very, very, very oily. Very oily. And even if I put some of the eyeshadows that are very dry and they look dry, during the day, my eyelids are going to sweat a lot. So I'll be trying out these prime 23 different eyeshadow primers for a very long time. And finally, I'm done and I can review every every single one. So if you want to see what worked for me, what didn't, and what eyeshadow primers I'm talking about, please keep on watching. Okay, I did it this way. I had 10 different steps. With the 10th, the last one, is the worst primers that didn't work. And number one, the first one, is the top primers that I love and going to use all the time. And also I split them in how many in how many hours they really worked on my eyelids. So I've been trying them out for weeks and weeks to really be sure if they work for those hours. Now I have to say when I started to try these eyeshadow primers, I, first I tried not to set them uh, with powder before I go in with my eyeshadow. <coughs> Sorry my voice is disappearing. I have in my throat today and I feel like I'm going to be sick. Hopefully not. Uh, okay, but it didn't work. So I have to say every time I put one of these eyeshadow primers on, I do set it with powder. And usually I used this Rimmel, Rimmel, Rimmel Stay Matte powder to set these eyeshadow primers. Also I used different powders. I used this Airspan. I also used, uh, let me show you this uh, Revolution Pro. I used many powders and doesn't matter, they work the same for me. So let's start. The worst primers on 10th place. The last place. Uh, these primers work for me between two and four hours. And there are three different eyeshadow, prim eyeshadow primers. The worst one that only worked around one and a half hour is this Only You eyeshadow primer and this one it's a nice applicator but this one I felt was very oily when I was applying it doesn't it has a little bit of the coverage but it just creasing a lot and I didn't like it didn't work for me but then the second one is this this one is LA Girl Pro Primer high definition eyeshadow primer it's like a stick this is so bad. It's thick and it feels thick. Uh, it blends nice, it covers a lot, but I just didn't like it. It started creasing after two hours and it looked very messy. I don't like it. Feels also oily, doesn't dry down completely. Okay, the third in on the last place is this is is this one absolutely New York eyeshadow primer. I know I haven't seen anything else from this brand here in Sweden, but this one has also a little bit coverage. But this is even worse than um, than this one. Uh, only you. This is very very oily. It stays oily. It creases a lot, and it's so bad. I don't like it at all. Don't recommend it. On the ninth place, it's primers that work for me between four and five hours. Uh, the one of those is this one. This is Pro Base MUA M MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Eyeshadow Primer. 
<laughs> this one is so weird. Uh, the apl applicator is very small, but this one did it, it feels oily. It did dry down. It doesn't cover a lot, but it starts creasing and uh, eyeshadow start started to fade a little bit after only two hours. And of, after four hours, it started creasing a lot and it then went very fast creasing and removing all of my eyeshadow. Also one that it's on the night place is Technique eyeshadow primer. It's this one. This one also creased a lot. It did cover a little bit, not too much, so it doesn't have a lot of coverage. But it was oily and after four hours my eyeshadow, it didn't fade, but it did start creasing a lot and it looked bad, so no. And the one that I absolutely didn't like is this Pure. I think also I did a dedicated video for this and I can't really see what it, the name of this one is. I think it is, I think, Stop Creases. Pure, pure I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce this one. Oh my god, this one, oh. look how it looks. It, it feels so thick on my eyelids and it feels like it's, it smells terrible, but it feels like a moisturizer and it doesn't blend, if you can see, it doesn't blend even. It pulls my eyeshadow, it, my eyeshadow doesn't blend a lot. It does keep my eyeshadow on for four hours, but it was very hard to blend my eyeshadow over it. Uh, even if I set it with powders, it didn't want to blend beautifully. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, doesn't have any coverage at all. Bad, don't like it, absolutely not going to use it. Feels too heavy. Now we go over to the primers that work for me between five and six hours. There was two of those. <laughs> and I got surprised. I really was. And I want to say, if any of these eyeshadow primers work beautifully on your eyelids, that's amazing. I'm not saying that these primers that I'm talking about are not going to work for anyone else. It's definitely going to work for someone. But for me, for my very, very oily eyelids, they didn't work. So if they work for you, that's amazing. I'm very glad that you find the primer if, that you like. But if you couldn't find the eyeshadow primer that you like and you do have similar problems like I have, then maybe you should check this video and take some of my advices. The next one that worked for me between five and six hours is this one, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Insurance. My God. I, first, I like the coverage of it has a little bit of it not too much but it's not bad but this one felt very heavy on my eyelids I don't know why I don't like the smell either but I I don't know it just felt oily and it my eyeshadow didn't want to blend beautifully over it but even if I made it work uh, after five hours it started creasing after six hours it was the most of the eyeshadow was gone and the next eyeshadow it's one that many YouTubers love, many YouTubers swear by, many YouTubers using them, using it all the time. But it didn't work for me at all. Five hours, that's too low for me. Okay, and I'm talking about, please don't hate me. I'm talking about MAC Paint Pot. And I have in Soft Orchi, I think it's, I used a lot of it. And I did use it a couple of years just to really to try it and I did use it over my other eyeshadow primers uh, because I do, li do like the coverage of it. It's heavy. Uh, it does make my eyelid feel very dry. So sometimes a dry eyeshadow looked too dry over this primer. I don't know if, you, if this makes any sense, but this is dry. It dries my eyelid. That's not bad, but even putting a very dry eyeshadow over it. It just looked weird. And it did keep my eyeshadow on for four, five, six hours, but after that it started creasing. It didn't crease a lot or too bad, but it did start gathering here deep in my crease and I didn't like it, it didn't look good. Sometimes it worked a little bit over six hours, but for the most times it just worked around five hours. So it dries down, so I do like that 
and it feels dry now on my hand, but for some reason it just didn't work on my eyelids. Sorry. Now we go over to the seventh place and these eyeshadow primers worked for me between six and seven hours. So the first one and this one was, I was very surprised actually. I thought that this one is going to be on number 10, the worst one. But it wasn't, it wasn't. And it was one of the cheapest. And I'm talking about 007, I got the power. All day wear eyeshadow base. I was surprised too, believe me. Hate the smell, I'd say, but who smells the eyeshadow primers except Ida. Uh, this one is very thick, it's very thick, but when you try to blend it in, it feels oily, but it dries down, I like that. And my eyeshadows went beautifully over it, no problems there. After six hours, it start creasing. After seven hours, my eyeshadow was almost gone in the crease and down. Uh, some above the crease was left, but the rest of it was gone. So I didn't like this one. But it feels very silky. It feels very nice. It feels like it smooths everything. I do like that. But for me, it just, it just didn't, just didn't deliver what I was expecting it. Or no, I didn't really expect a lot of it. I have to be honest. But what I really want, just didn't went all the way. The next pro product in that same line is the, the newest one in my collection is this Revolution Pro Eye Element, Elements Eyeshadow Base. This is Core. And this one also feels like paint pot, thick, covers a lot. When you apply it, it feels oily. I love the coverage. It, I love how it takes away everything and it blends nice and my eyeshadows went over it beautifully it blended beautifully it looked good but after six hours up to seven hours it looked nice but then it started creasing and it creased a lot here in the corners that was weird but it did crease a lot and I did try to apply it a couple of times with my finger with the brush uh, with different setting it with different powders not setting it i tried it a lot and it just didn't deliver the expectations uh, but i love the coverage and um, it looks beautifully over other eyeshadow primers without any coverage i do use it still use it but i put it over another eyeshadow primer that doesn't have a lot of coverage that i like and uh, then it looks nice so i do like it i realized that i didn't say it in the beginning but i should as should have said it that I expect my eyeshadow primers to work at least over at least 12 hours because I am around people. I work as a teacher, so I work long hours, I meet a lot of people, and I do do you need my eyeshadow primer to keep my eyeshadows on in place for at least 12 hours. And now we are at, at sixth place, and these primers are a little bit better. So these primers I can see myself using, that's good, uh, and reaching for, of course, but maybe not when I work. Okay, so now on sixth place, the one of the eyeshadows is this one. This one, this is Lacombe La Base, and I did a dedicated video for this eyeshadow base. If you want to see that, please go over to my videos and search it over there. This one I used a lot. Uh, this one kept my eyeshadow on for seven to eight hours. I don't like shade of it, it's very pink, but it covers a lot, that's good. And I did use a lot of it, I would use it over eyeshadow primers as th the same way I use this one, Revolution Pro, over other eyeshadow primers that do don't work better, but don't have that courage that I want, because I do have very visible veins and discoloration on my eyelids that I want to remove. So I do use it, continue using it over other but as a primer on its own, it just didn't work for the all for me. Then over there we have Estee Lauder Double Way Stay in Place Eyeshadow Base. Also, I think I have a delicate video. I love the coverage of this one. This one feels thick but oily. Uh, thick but oily covers a lot. Also, didn't keep my shadows on for a long time, did make my shadow blends be be blend beautifully and look 
fabulous during those seven hours but after seven hours it stopped creasing here at the end and some of the eyeshadows in the corner here start to fade a lot so I do use it as a base over other eyeshadow primers that don't have the coverage I want but only as an eyeshadow primer I don't like it okay okay we are now go over to the next box and we are in the middle of the stairs we climb to the fifth place and these are the primers that I'm using okay I'm using these a lot so on the fifth place I have one eyeshadow primer and I was surprised but also I did expect it to work and these these primers work for me between eight and nine hours and this is elf elf eyeshadow primer I had this for two no, two or three years ago and I loved it and I like it now too it doesn't smell bad it doesn't cover a lot but it has a decent coverage it feels oily when you apply it but it dries fast it makes my eyeshadow look beautiful they do start to fade after seven hours but they start to crease after eight hours so this one I do use when I don't work and I like it Okay, now we are at the fourth place and I do have two primers on that step and these primers work for me for ten, 9 to 10 hours. The first one is this one, this is Milani, Milani eyeshadow primer. This one I do like, it makes my eyeshadow look nice. It's one that I have on my eyelids today and it's a little bit thicker than the e.l.f. one. Uh, doesn't have a lot of coverage, that's bad. So I do use my other uh, Lancome and my um, Double Wear, Estee Lauder Double Wear over it when I want more coverage. But it dries down very fast. It keeps my eyeshadow on in pl eyeshadow on place. It makes my eyeshadow look beautiful. It doesn't make my eyeshadow fade, but it does start creasing after nine hours. That's a bad thing, but it's not it's not bad. I do recommend this one. I like it. And on that same place, it's this one. This is NYX Prove It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. And this one was strange. It has direction how to apply it. This one worked strange for me. And one day I applied it and it looked beautiful for a little bit over 10 hours. Then the next day when I applied it, it looked weird only after a couple of hours. And it doesn't have a coverage at all. But it feels very oily, but it dries down very fast and matte, and it feels very silky on the eyelid. It doesn't feel heavy, I like that. I was afraid that it's not going to work because it feels oily, it looks oily when I apply it, but it feels sticky. So when I went over with my, with my powder, it looked nice, and then my eyeshadow blended beautifully over it. So no, no problems over there, it feels a little bit tacky. So I do like this primer, I do reach for it, I like it. So I did use, this one I tried a lot because I, one day it worked, the other day it didn't work. But for the most it worked for me between 9 and 10 hours. I continue looking down on my paper what I wrote, wrote down about every eyeshadow primer. I'm looking at my notes. Now these primers that I'm going to talk about I do like. The third, second and the first place. And they work nice on for me so these I do recommend on a third place are the primers that work for me for 10 to 11 hours and one of those is this one Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer and I used a lot of it and I you know guys I've used this so many times on my channel but I do use uh, La Base, Lacombe's La Base and Estee Lauder Double and, and Paint Pot over this one to cover my veins because this one doesn't have any coverage at all it's thick uh, it's very thick blends beautifully works nice I was looking for another primer that will work a little bit longer than this one this one works only for 10 to 11 hours for me and it's good those days when I don't work long hours and I don't have to pick up my children from school uh, it feels tacky when it dries down but it dries down very fast uh, the paint pot though over this one 
looks so dry. So I avoid to use that one. I do I like to use La Base or Estee Lauder Double Red. Those are th thick, but not uh, lo don't look as drying as the paint pot over this one. On the second place, oh, I'm so excited. I have one that blown my mind, okay? I have one primer that I reach for day in and day out. I reach for it all the time. I really, really like it. And I know I was showing it on one of my, in, my, in one of my videos. I don't remember which one. And I'm talking about Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer, long lasting, this one. I don't know if they have another packaging. I know when I talked about this one in one of my other videos, someone commented down below that they didn't like the Wet n Wild Primer. But I don't know if, if it's the same, the person wasn't really sure. But I do like this eyeshadow primer. This says bo Boosts Shadow Color. This perfect primer preps and brightens eyelids to lock down eyeshadow color. It's smooth, effortless application, dries to clear finish and keeps eyeshadow in place. This one does keep my shadow for 11 to 12 hours. I love this one. The only thing I don't like a bit about this one doesn't have coverage that I like. It does, it does feel very light. feels like I don't have any eyeshadow primer on, but it doesn't cover anything. So I do need to use um, like a base or in. And even if I don't use a base or it, if I'm going to, uh, to use darker colors, uh, so my veins don't show up a lot, I use this one. I love this one. This one, it feels a little bit tacky, but not too tacky. I love this one. This is cruelty free. I love this primer. I recommend it. One of my favorites. And I was surprised. I didn't thought that I would like this one. Guys, you have to try it if you didn't. I love this one. The next pri primer on the second place is Elizabeth Aden Advanced Eye Fix Primer. This one. This is so expensive, but they are on the same step for me. Number two, second place, both of them. This one is expensive, this one is not. So I was surprised, like I said. This is Advanced Eye Fix Primer, Elizabeth Aden. I was in a store and I asked the girl that worked all day if they have a primer that will work better for me than the Smashbox 24 hours. Uh, and she recommended this one. This one has a little bit of the coverage, so I don't use anything over it. This one feels a little bit oily, but it dries down very fast and it feels silky and smooth and my eyeshadows blend over it beautifully. It, it keeps away the oils to come through the primer so they don't destroy my eye, eye makeup. My eyeshadow looks beautiful after 11 hours. They don't crease, they look as intense as they looked before. I do recommend it. Really do I recommend it, but this one is um, high in price. So if you can't afford this one, try this one. They work the same for me. I just like, I do prefer this one a little bit because it does have the coverage I like. This one does not, but I like this one and I'm using this more than this one. It's weird, I'm weird, but that is what it is. Okay, then we are now at the last step, we are almost finished. We are almost, almost done. Okay, guys, I have five primers, okay? Five primers that works always, that are beautiful, that keeps my eyeshadows on in place, that makes my shadow blend beautifully. Some of them have more coverage than the others. I'm sorry, I have four. Some of them have more coverage than the others, but they're good. I like them, they're good. Okay, these eyeshadow primers work for me for 12 to 14 hours. Now, I didn't try any eyeshadow primer over 14 hours. And even if I had my eyeshadows on for over 14 hours, I wasn't looking, I wasn't taking time because 14 hours was my stop. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking about Lumen. I have two Nordic Cheek eyeshadow primer and eyeshadow primer, beauty base eyeshadow primer. I think... These are almost the same thing. This one is older version. This is new version, but they work the same for me. They work for, uh, for over 12 to 14 hours. They look smooth. They have some coverage, both of them, so that's good, but not too much. So I do like to use a base over it, but they dry down very fast. They keep my oils in place. 
stay, make my eyeshadow look beautiful for over 12 hours. I do recommend them. And I had one of these in my last giveaway. So I hope the person that won that tried it and liked it as much as I do. So I do like, it does, doesn't matter if you have the old one or the new one, they work beautifully. The next one is MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour, 24 hour Extend Eye Base. This one is good and it works so nice. I used a lot of it. it doesn't have coverage. It feels thick. It looked weird, it, but it blends beautifully. It dries down fast, feels light on my eyelids, and it makes my shadow blend beautifully, stay on all day, don't crease and don't fade. So I like this one a lot. Doesn't have coverage, so that's one minus, but I love this primer and recommend it. The last one is one that I used a lot on my channel. What is this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Push? I like this primer, but two things, two things I don't like. I don't like the packaging. It looks beautiful, but it's messy. And I do not like the packaging. I don't like the applic applicator. And the coverage, it's not the best. Maybe the others, they have different um, primers. Maybe they work or look better, but I could get my hands on this one. This one feels very light on my eyelids. It's very thin, looks very oily though, but it blends beautifully. It keeps my eyeshadows in place. Like this one. If you haven't tried it, tried it. I like this one. So guys, I had to end this video because it's going to be too long. So these are all 23 different eyeshadow primers that I've tried for weeks and weeks and weeks with different eyeshadow eyeshadows with different powders and finally I can be honest sit here and film this video for you guys I hope you learned a lot I hope you got some advices or some ideas what you can try if eyeshadow primers that you have today does, don't work for you now I know there are many other eyeshadow primers out there many new eyeshadow primers out there but I just I was thinking to get in more eyeshadow primers to review but really I could make this video too long I could buy every eyeshadow primer that I, that I can get my hands on and it would be too much so maybe in the future if you like this video please let me know down below and give a thumbs up maybe in the future I will uh, do this video again but with other eyeshadow primers if do you want to see me do review my all of my face primers because I have many face primers too thinking of doing that video so guys that was everything please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload i upload three videos a week monday wednesday and friday and don't forget to enter my giveaway i will put the link down below or the card at the end of this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye